So it's Friday guys, as ever, we forgot to pick up the trammel from the unit. You can see how nice and sharp the edges are. So, oh, we found this as well when we were digging. Collingford Design and Build here with the A&E, &A showing them how to do it. A bunch of cowboys. Yeah, have anybody heard the day? <laughs> Don't want to fall in there. Whoa, whoa, tell you what to drive. stop, say, don't stop, don't stop. So we've got the uh, the old boys doing the dirty work and the good looking one on the camera. Oh. <laughs> so it's Friday guys, we're actually smashed out of the park, the guys have. We've got Tom White skips just picking up the skip, like where we just had an exchange. We've got the scaffolders that are doing an amazing job now, just getting this wrap round where we need it to be. So basically what's happening at the moment, the concrete lorry, RS concrete, which are over there. So once he's now got this out of the way, we can reset the concrete back up again and we can start to get the first eight meters in, which is gonna be really, really cool. If ever you need a scaffold in the Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, Oxford. Check out AC Scaffolding, absolutely brilliant guys. Do an awesome job. Well, morning. Morning. Well, morning. So morning. we've got the laser lever set up. We've got a, uh, a makeshift trammel that we've had to do because uh, as ever, we forgot to pick up the trammel from the unit. We sprayed all the relevant marker points here where we need to be. But the top of that corbel in there, which is running across the brickwork, that's where we're going to go to the top of that brickwork. And that's going to go all the way around. The concrete is all the way through here. And then through this then footing line here. You can see how nice and sharp the edge off and then we can get the concrete in ready then uh, upstairs we can leave the extension because we're waiting for the steels that are going to sit on top of the actual uh, concrete footings um, that's about it so we're gonna crack on with the concrete see you in a bit guys we've got concrete and screed rock solid concrete if ever you're in the Coventry Warwickshire area definitely check out these guys so you can see the actual size of this project it's a big old bus, this one. Really looking forward to bringing all this roof structure to you, the trusses. When this video goes out, if there's anything you want to know about as we're putting this roof together, as we're doing stuff, just let us know. Look at that, boom, he's got it done. You see the stuff he's pouring into that pipe, that's just to prime the pipe. So when the company just side goes through really, really easy. So what we've got going on now, concrete pump come all the way through here. Now, one of the things I do, uh, I always put, end up putting a rope over the pump. So, oh, we found this as well when we were digging. I think we will. We found this when we were digging. <laughs> Look at that. We did. That's a good old bone, isn't it, that is? If anybody knows what that bone is, let us know. We think it's probably an old dog bone, something like that. So the one thing I always do, I always end up putting a bit of rope around it so I can actually help me drag this across like this. Makes it easier than trying to handball it. And then I'll drag it then straight across over to that corner using the ply sheets. That's what I like to bring ply sheets in. That's where I'm going to go. It makes, just makes it easier. That's it. Oh, put my foot on there nicely there. That's it. Shoot it down into there, which should be good. So really excited about the concrete. That's one thing we always try and do. Most of our concrete pours we try and do on a Thursday, Friday. Just makes life a lot, lot easier to then set yourself up for the next week. Then we can start digging out all of this section. All of this can get to the right levels and then start getting stone up because we're actually going to put a stone, we're going to put a concrete slab in here. We're not actually going to be putting a block and beam in this one because it's actually more cost effective to do a concrete pour. So, right, here we go, guys. Collingford Design and Build here with A and E showing them how to do it. Bunch of cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Will today about his playlist today. And he's on he's got a very eclectic playlist, Will. <laughs> his, first, his first favourite band was Take That. And then he then said, Ever, and I said, Ever, oh, that's a pretty good band, yeah. I was only thinking of people yeah. that I thought Tony would know. Ah, oh, you see, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in Bieber all the way, isn't it, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jumped him all oh. And then he named somebody on it. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Dave. Dave, yeah, have anybody heard of Dave? And then Storty thought I hadn't heard of Stormzy. I've heard of Stormzy. You hear it? It's coming out. Can you feel, feel it? it? You can feel, feel it. the air coming, can't you? That rug's going to slip off, is it? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not jumping in there to save her. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't want to fall in there. Not that time of the day. Not that time of day to do that, mate. <laughs> there you go. If you watch, you'll get twice as many hits now I'm holding the camera. That's it, yeah. Look at that, Cullingford design and build art that time. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you. It worked well for me for two years, that did. Did it? I did some cracking work. Loved Excellent. it. Best two years of my life doing building. I loved it. Absolutely yeah. loved it. Whoa, whoa. Tell you what, drive. Don't stop, Don't stop. 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 Don't st
one stop, we'll get a bit of board, nine mil board. So right, the reason that we're doing this guys is because the simple reason uh, I want to make sure as that concrete goes down, I see it was splatting everywhere and I don't want to cover all this brickwork and this beautiful nice new windows, do you Tom? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm doing here guys, I've just put a piece of, of screw in there just so I can that sheet while Will holds the other side. You got it Will? Yeah. Okay, lift it up then kid. the camera is going to be Will. Hello camera. <laughs> so we've got the uh, the old boys doing the dirty work and the good looking one on the camera. Oh. <laughs> so at the moment we're just waiting for them to swap, and over, swap over the uh, cement mixer and because we put this much of the foundation in so far uh, it's looking pretty good at the moment obviously down there it's still pretty deep so as the next lot comes in it starts to move along here and then we'll start to even it out we got liam on the old hose and then tony's mixing down there and tom's just looking good on camera uh, we've put all these um osb boards up to um, make sure that none of the splash of the concrete uh damages any of the uh, neighbors brickwork I will update you as we go along. So the second lot of the old mix is coming up now. The, uh, the board here is falling over again and we need to make sure they're protecting it. So we're just protecting, you know, this board and this board to make sure they don't fall into the concrete footings whilst it's going on. So we've just shifted uh, the entry of the concrete from this point to down here. And now we've moved it around the corner. And it's just to ensure that there's a, like an even spread because if we started moving this lump of concrete now, there would be too much of a gush of uh, or flow of concrete down there and then we need to reassess this uh, position so we're just trying to make sure that it's evenly spread around while trying not to fall into the bloody thing now you think uh, you think will have been building 20 years haven't you the way you just rock with that and just restyled it was just absolutely priceless so <laughs> respect to you will thanks <laughs> also, the reason now we haven't pushed and tamped that over there is because we need to get a load of weight down here on the concrete because we need the weight to make sure we can start working back with the levels once it's uh, gone through all there it will then have all this weight it'll back itself all up there and we can then start to tamp and level it all up uh, it was great um thing to cover that window stop getting concrete all over it done the same over there as well described earlier now we've got the volumetric uh mixer here so that's like another eight cube now ready to go it's all getting in we've got a bit of plastic on the floor to make sure it's all getting protected we've got eight cube on there so hopefully that should be enough to do that finished trench and then those two holes over there as well so so guys we just now wrapped up we had about a barra of concrete left i mean it doesn't always happen that way sometimes we have a little bit more like a quarter of a cube or a little bit less but we've been able to fill this hole here now get that one filled over there we just got to tidy them all up we're now just uh, covering the top of the footing now with the sheets just in case we have any rain tonight it's all leveled all off all tamped all the way through it's within three four mil all the way around so i'm really pleased with that really happy with that uh, and then we're just going to now finish off with the ply sheets run them around and then it's time to pack up go home have a beer chinese and just chill out for the weekend have a great weekend guys and i'll see you on monday take care guys bye hey you beautiful people another beautiful day so if you enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time we upload a video you'll be notified so have an awesome week see you soon guys on the next vlog